Plants have many adaptations to help them survive in their environment, where they may be competing for light, water, space or nutrients from the soil. The cactus is well adapted to surviving in very dry environments. Cacti minimise their surface area by replacing leaves with spines. This is so that they don't lose too much water through transpiration. The less surface area they have exposed to the outside air, the less water can escape out. The spines are also an adaptation to protect cacti from the animals that might eat them. Thick stems for storing water and also a waxy coating to stop water from escaping. And also they have extensive root systems to collect water from a large area. Some organisms have adapted to live in extreme environments. We call them extremophiles. Extreme environments may have very high levels of salt, high temperatures or high pressures. The Aquifex genus of bacteria is an example of an extremophile. The bacteria live in hot springs that can reach up to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, an extremely hot environment which would be intolerable for most other organisms. To live in this environment, some bacteria have adapted to produce enzymes that still function at very high temperatures, and others even respire nitrogen instead of oxygen so that they can tolerate anoxic conditions. Extremophiles have specially adapted to live in environments that are inhospitable to most forms of life. Because of this, they have been able to flourish in habitats without many competitors, as their competitors would not survive.